Hi, welcome back to Digital Champions. I'm your host, Mary Therese, coming to you from Atlanta. Today, we're going to go all the way up to Benson, Vermont, where our guest today is Carly Severino. She is the CEO and founder of Word Nerd Creative Content and Design. Carly, welcome to Digital Champions. Thanks so much for having me. I love the name of your company. I think it's awesome. <laughs> Let's talk about what you provide. <laughs> Thank and you. How do you go, how do you go after that new client? Yeah, so uh, I am a pretty much full service marketing agency, uh, definitely with a specialization in digital marketing, search engine optimization, social media marketing, uh, and website design. Um, so in the way that I kind of and acquired new clients um, is broadly through word of mouth advertising, a uh, little bit of digital advertising here and there. Um, but yeah, I, I have a very solid base group of clients who have really, I, I, I owe a lot of the success that our agency has had to them um, in just supporting me and, and seeing the work that we're able to provide and, and going out and recruiting others saying, hey, this, this is a great team. Uh, they can help you. <laughs> What's the one tip that you give to folks when it comes to digital marketing, especially if they have not really uh, taken the dive in the deep end of the pool there because uh, marketing today has come a long way. So how, how do you convince them that digital marketing is also where you need to be focusing? Yeah, you know, that's a that's a tough one, especially our space is very focused on small businesses and nonprofits, because I think that those entities tend to need a little bit more help competing these days, uh, because it is so digital. And a lot of those smaller scale businesses haven't invested the resources that are really necessary in building that digital presence. Um, the one thing that I always tell people when I'm starting to work with them is, you know, you really need to listen to your audience. Um, it's one thing to know your business and, you know, as, as a business owner, you know, your business back, like the back of your hand, but knowing your audience and what they want to see online and, and what resonates with them is a really uh, different thing entirely. And it takes a, a lot of skill um, and, and experience to navigate those insights and see, you know, how you can better inform your strategy to, to make that um, relationship. Yeah, you know, I know you've been doing this for a while now. Talk about that aha moment from a client when when you know that you've really reached them and they're recognizing that you do know what you're doing and this is going to be huge success. Yeah, you know, um, it's funny you bring that up. I've had that experience uh, quite a few times where, you know, you get that hesitation where it's like, oh, this is such a different social media strategy than what I'm used to doing. I don't know if my audience is going to like this. Um, I don't like the way this looks. Um, when you bring those preconceptions to your own strategy, a lot and a lot of times it will hinder you. Um, and it helps to have an outside uh, agency to come in and say, hey, you know, these are the opportunities that you're missing. Uh, so in, for instance, uh, with one client of mine, um, their social feed, they had some concerns with the, the way it uh, looked when you landed on that Instagram page. Um, and they were concerned about how there were some things that looked too much like advertisements. Um, so just taking the time to explain to them, hey, these are the metrics that we are getting from these posts that you're specifically calling out and having concerns about. And these are actually what are um, the results that you're earning. So, you know, one of the posts, for instance, they didn't even know was responsible for driving the large majority of clicks to their website. So that's, those are the kind of valuable insights that if you don't know how to look for them or you're not aware of where they are on your tools or your platforms, because these are all things that are available for free. It's just that many people just simply don't know how to use them. Um, so it, does, it definitely has to ha um, helps to have a small team like that available to guide you through that. And knowledge is power, that's for sure. And you, get, you, you are so knowledgeable about this. You can tell with your passion that uh, this, this is where you need to be. <laughs> Anybody would be blessed to be able to work with you, Carly. Thank you for being on the program again. And uh, we hope you'll come back on Digital Champions. So much. I would love to be back. Absolutely. If you want to know more about what Carly is doing and 
how you can have a piece of the pie over at Word Nerd Creative Content and Design. I love that name. You can find out all that information by coming to us. And we're at dailyadbrief.com. I'm Mary Therese for Digital Champions. Thank you.